Hey guys, welcome back to Jawan 16. I am your host Jawan, and today we're about a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Persona 4 Arena Ultimax for the Nintendo Switch. That's right, today we're testing out the Yuzu emulator once again on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. This game came out today for the PS4 well, PC. And hey, it came out for the Switch as well. And it seems to be running on day one, which is awesome. Always great to see the Switch playing games right off the bat. Cause why the heck not, right? Why the heck am I in why the heck am I in TV mode? What the heck is going on? I don't understand. Nothing's letting me do anything. So basically I play the game at the default settings. The whole point of the video is simply to show you guys how the game will perform on the Yuzu emulator right off the bat. So yeah, everything is running out basically native, and we're gonna see what happens. Oh crap, I was on story. I got I got it now. Yeah, I'm using I'm using it's it's the Japanese version, okay? We we're, we're trying to figure stuff out. I remember now. There you go. Battle. Yeah. Now this game wasn't hard to run on the RPCS3 emulator and Xenia, which I also tested. Go check out those videos. I also did those. I'm basically doing it all three. Test this crap on all three games. It's crazy. Oh, actually. Yeah. Dude, the art style is crazy for these characters. But yeah, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you really wanted to play this game, I would recommend, and you want to test play it on an emulator for whatever reason rather than just play it on PC, I would recommend testing it on our PCS3. It's much easier on there, and it doesn't take up nearly as much RAM on there than it does on the, the Nintendo Switch, the user emulator, which takes up a crazy ton of RAM. It takes like 4 to 5 on the RPCS3 emulator. It's much easier. But once again, this is the first one playing the game. And as you can see, it's building shaders in the background. But this is a 2v5 2v5 fighter. So we can run this game at 60 FPS all day long without any issue. Doesn't really matter. We are golden. Just keep that in mind, this will be fine. Oh damn, you're hitting me hard. Oh wow, avoided the break. Didn't avoid the kick though. As you can see, my CPU is chilling. This is gonna run on integrated graphics, by the way. Um, uh, the i7-47 is at 7%. <laughs> you can press Titus on an i3 on a laptop and this will run fine. All day long. It's not a hard game to run, it really isn't. It's one of the easiest games to run. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, what the hell is going on? I just got smacked around there. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie to you for the last like, three, 10 seconds I had my the controller. Probably shouldn't have done that, you know. There's not much to talk about here because I've already tested this game so much. It's gonna like, I've tested this multiple times. Why? I don't have anything to say here for you, for you guys. The VRAM is in the hot It's not even getting a gig. Like I said, this is a very easy game to run. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like seeing the Yuzu emulator, then hopefully next time I test something, you know, that has some work to it. I mean, I knew the game was gonna run at 60 FPS. Like, There's not much to talk about here. The game runs fine. But if you'd like to check out more of this stuff like the RPCS3 Yuzu and Xenia, as well as learn games for the Intel graphics, and show you what the latest games can run like on the graphics graphics, if you're interested in anything like that, then you're gonna hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share, subscribe, guys, it really helps me out. Just enjoy the rest of the game while I mute myself, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.